What's up everybody? I am doing a PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have hit monetization on the YouTube channel, so I want to give back to y'all. All we have to do is hit 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe and comment below PS5. You comment on 10 videos, then you have 10 chances at this PlayStation 5. Thank you very much and good Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Glowstick and today I am going to share with you why the Charlotte Hornets should sign LiAngelo Ball and why LiAngelo Ball will take the Charlotte Hornets to a championship. That is right, I am saying it right now. If they sign LiAngelo Ball, they are going to be going to the championship within, I'm going to say three years. That is my guess. I am going to, you know, everybody's like, what are you talking about? LiAngelo Ball, a guy that has never played, you know, in the NBA, never scored a basket, anything like that. And that's completely fine. That is, you know, I, I watched LiAngelo Ball in high school. I didn't think he was that great. I don't think that, you know, he is a NBA level talent. However, I'm going to share with you why he is the secret ingredient for the Charlotte Hornets to compete for a championship. So let's get into it. Uh, LeVar Ball recently said that if he brings, if the Charlotte Hornets brought in LiAngelo um, <clears throat> and Lonzo, that the uh, Charlotte Hornets will win a championship. I am a diehard Charlotte fan. I have watched every game the last five years, so I know a little bit about the team here. And I'm going to share with you why I kind of agree with LeVar Ball. I don't ever agree with LeVar Ball. However, this situation, I want to tell you exactly why the Charlotte Hornets should target LiAngelo Ball, and I think he is the most important player to target at the moment for the Charlotte Hornets. So here's the situation. The Charlotte Hornets have a crazy amount of guards. We also have a lot of small forwards, the power forwards, but we have no big men at, at all. I mean, literally, that is the issue with the Charlotte Hornets right now, along with defense. We have guys that can score the basket, but we don't have guys that can shut down the other um, opposing teams. Now, saying this, I think that if we sign LiAngelo Ball, that it's going to lock up our future because we just spent our third overall pick on LaMelo Ball, and he is looking like an absolute beast. I mean, I, I truly believe he is going to be one of the best point guards in the NBA. He is, I mean, six foot eight. He is ridiculous. His handles are nasty. He has crazy court vision, IQ. His shot, you know, is not been hidden. Um, however, he is confident and he is pulling in people's faces. He did hit a, a few points last night. So that's pretty much our future. I think LaMelo Ball is going to be the best player on the Hornets for a very long time. I think he's already the best player on the Hornets. However, you can't just kick aside, you know, Terry Rozier and Devontae Graham after them almost scoring 20 points a game last season. Um, but LaMelo is definitely our future. Okay. LeVar is saying if we sign LiAngelo Ball, that Lonzo is going to be signing with the Hornets. Now, everybody's like, no, 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 Lonzo is trash, like, blah, blah, blah. Let's be realistic here. Lonzo is not living up to the hype that everybody had once he got out of college. However, he is still, I think, number, like, 54 in the ESPN's top 100 players. And we are talking about the Charlotte Hornets, who have a small market team. We bring in LiAngelo Ball, and that, you know makes Lonzo sign with us next year it costs us absolutely nothing as far as trade capital goes that is almost a no-brainer at that point I mean you could have a six foot seven and six foot eight one two running the uh, the show for the Charlotte Hornets that right there is going to help us defensively um, Lonzo is a great defensive player and he is a great passer I mean nobody can argue that that is two things that he is great at and that is two things that the Charlotte Hornets could use. Um, you have LaMelo and Lonzo at the 1-2. You have two huge guards. Then you have Gordon Hayward at the 3. Okay. Uh, P.J. Washington at the 4. P.J. Washington is arguably one of the best stretches in the league. He is currently playing the 5 on the, some of the small ball lineups. But he really thrives at the 4. That 4 is pretty solid. Now, the fact that we can bring in Lonzo because we signed LiAngelo, this is where it all comes to sense. All right, this 
causes us to be able to trade Terry Rozier and someone like Cody Zeller and bring in our center to build around in the future. Uh, we could target someone like Clint Capella or Andre Drummond. I know there's a lot of rumors that they're trying to trade both of those players and Terry Rozier and Cody Zeller for that one player. It definitely makes sense for them, uh, especially Terry Rozier coming off of uh, almost a 20 point season and he's only like 25 years old I think. And then Cody Zeller, you know, he has an expiring contract, which is something a lot of teams uh, want. So just those two players combined, you can bring in that superstar center. And next thing you know, the Charlotte Hornets, a small market team, have four players who are, you know, kind of superstars. I mean, Gordon Hayward was a superstar at Utah. If he can live up to the Utah hype, I know he had a lot of injuries with the Celtics, he could be a crazy player for the Hornets in the future and then you have two guys who are super tall can facilitate the ball very smart very I mean IQ given and I think that LaMelo Ball is going to turn into someone that can pull from anywhere I think it's just going to take a, a little bit of time to have some team chemistry and some trust with his teammates because I feel like right now he's not wanting to just take over because he's wanting to respect everybody else as individuals However, I think for the Hornets to really, you know, thrive here, um, he's going to have to take over in specific situations. But that starting five is absolutely crazy. And then we think about our second lineup, who, you know, we're trading Terry Rozier and Cody Zeller. Our second lineup, honestly, was like our starting lineup last year, who won like 30 games. Devontae Graham, who was arguably the most improved player in the NBA, he went from like two points to like averaging 18 points. He really should be in the starting lineup. However, I think Lonzo and LaMelo's chemistry at the 1-2 would be absolutely ridiculous, and it'd also be uh, very beneficial on the defensive side since they are so tall and lanky. Devontae Graham can come up. He could just start dominating. He can be our sixth man. Along with him, we have Malik Monk, who, you know, has – um, superstar potential at times but then there's some times where he looks absolutely terrible you know he it, he's a hit or miss to say and then we have Miles Bridges who I absolutely love Miles Bridges I think that he should be in the starting lineup right now but he is I, I personally think he's one of the better players on the Charlotte Hornets however he's coming off the bench with this lineup and then we have Vernon Carey who was the like ACC player of the year last year for Duke he's only like 19 and he is a stretch as well. I mean, that second string is going to be pretty freaking solid as well. So you have a ridiculous first team and then a pretty good second team. And I really think that that has the potential to take them to a championship. And it all starts with Leangelo Ball. You know, we signed Le Leangelo Ball. That's going to definitely bring in Lonzo. That's going to uh, make it um, possible for us to trade Terry Rozier and not need him because we're already going to bring in another elite guard coming into the system. And we can trade Terry for someone, you know, that's elite down low, which is what we really lack right now. I think overall, it's just going to make a absolutely ridiculous team. And as a Hornets fan, I have never really seen a team that's been this great. I mean, I'm 25, and ever since I've been watching, they've really not been that great. Um, so I'm absolutely excited about the situation. I really hope that we take a shot with him. Not, we don't even have to play this kid. You know, we just need to bring him in so Lonzo comes in. And then honestly, at that point, our trade capital is going to skyrocket, and we have so much potential. Um, I'm excited, and we'll just see what happens. Let me know below if you think you know this would be a smart situation to bring in Leangelo Ball because there's always a few players on every roster that never plays. I mean, look at Taco Falls; he never plays at all. However, they're grooming him for the future. We bring in someone like Leangelo, we know that we're going to get Lonzo in return. Have two. Um, players that were drafted in the top three over the last few years. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, that's my thought process. Let me know what you think. And uh, that's pretty much it. God bless.